So good morning, sessionistas and photogs, and welcome to Photogs Life. My name is Chris Calumbiran, and I am the chief photographer and founder of Chris Calumbiran FZE. Please visit our website, chriscalumbiran.com. Please show your love by subscribing in our channel and hitting that like button, pressing that notification bell so that we can notify you whenever we have weekly uploads. It can be entertaining and educational such as this one. So let's start. So our topic for today, I can say it's not very popular, but indeed very useful. If I know this from a long time ago, I could have used this and saved me a lot of time from researching and searching how this can be solved. This problem can be solved. And the problem is the Moray phenomenon effect. So Moray, <laughs> when I first read it, I, I was pronouncing it as more or mo or mora anyways <laughs> the safest pronunciation for it is moray moray phenomenon so the moray phenomenon occurs when a complicated pattern and the, it's a combination basically of complicated patterns and the pixels and the decompression of the file that you may have on your computer display So when it displays on a, on a certain monitor, it shows the Murray effect. It took me off guard because when I have submitted the file to the client, it was really clean. Before I share you the, the file, uh, there are two different ways or three different ways to solve this. There is the camera raw. There is also on Lightroom. And which I found find very effective is the one that I will share you guys from the Photoshop using this action that I will going to share with you guys as a gift. I'm going to leave a link, a download link on the description. I will link it on my WeTransfer account and also on my Dropbox account. Just in case if the link we transfer link expires, you will have it downloadable on my Dropbox account. So let's start. I first, what I will do is I will skip the two different ways on the raw conversion of Photoshop and the the Lightroom because I really never see the effects on it. But on this tutorial that I will going to share you. I'm not going to be in depth on it because I wanted to give you the um, concise version of how to deal with this. As long as you know how to mask. Masking is very important because you need to isolate the garment from the face. You basically just need to isolate the garment from the face. So I will share you my monitor here. And this is the file that I have submitted to the client. I basically cropped out, you know, cropped his torso only because we're going to discuss only the garment. We're not going, there's no need to show his face here. And I will share you guys the file that I have submitted to the client. So basically this is the file that I have submitted and this has no Moire effect removal filter on it. I do have, although I do have the Moray effect filter here on a different group, on a different folder, but I will show you the before and after. So basically you will not, for me on my monitor, I'm using an EI, so color edge CG24W, 245W. And it doesn't show on my display. I have no idea why, but When I have submitted this to the client, my client came back to me through WhatsApp, most likely because of the decompression of WhatsApp. And what it does is it sharpens the image and it basically reveals this ugly moray effect. That's the consequences. But when I... So, I, you know, there will be a chance of a miscommunication because... Basically, you will not be able to express, you know, that you, you say, I don't see this on my monitor. Maybe you're using the wrong monitor. 
uh, don't use it on WhatsApp because it's decompressed. Any excuses is not valid anymore because you won't be able to find a really nice discussion how you will be able to educate your client when it regards to this. Because especially if your client doesn't understand what Murray pattern is, And, you know, there is no other way than just to solve the problems. And after solving the problem, you will be able finding the solution or offering the solution. And then you will be able to find a way and a opportunity to explain your client what you have gone through and what was that kind of effect, especially when she asked, you know what I mean? Anyways, so when she came back to me, this is the file that she sent me through WhatsApp. And if you notice, it, the Moray effect is very obvious. But, you know, it's basically because the compression of whatever compression she may use sharpens the image so that it will look flattering on the display of the mobile phone or whatever it is. You know, it can be a tablet, it can be a mobile phone, phone or a small monitor. Uh, it sharpens, it it adds sharp, sharp, uh, sharpness on it adds sharpness on the image, so it will display properly on the phone. Unfortunately, if you know, if the moray pattern is there, it will be, uh, it will multiply or obviously intensify the moray patterns, which is showing here right now. So in order to solve it, what I would do is I have an action here. I have an action folder called the Murray effect, which is I'm going to share with you for free. It's going to be on a download link, both on WeTransfer and uh, Dropbox. It's going to be on the description. So you just need to like play it. And it will show you, it will create a different layer that has an unrevealed mask. So the black means here, if you see it, the black means it's not revealed. It's, um, it's hidden. The layer is hidden. So to make it appear or to reveal it, you need to basically either paint it with white or use the pats so that you would be able to isolate the garment from the image itself. So you basically just need to paint it white so that the black will reveal the hidden layer of the image or the layer. Yeah, the hidden layer from the image. Yeah, so as easy as that. Yeah. So when we zoom in, I don't normally edit my images wearing my sunglasses. It's, it's for aesthetics purposes. <laughs> so if you see carefully, the original file has a very sharp image of the garment. But since this is a corporate um, photograph or a corporate profile shot, The garment comes secondary. It's the face and the look and the <clears throat> composition of your subject, what it is very important. But the moray effect is very distracting, so we need to remove that. So if you see it, this is when it's on. The, 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 this is when the layer is on, and this is when the layer is off, before and after. So yeah, so now what you can do is you can save. So now what you can do is what I suggest you can should do is you have to like save it first on like a 25 version, 25% version and come back to your client and say, you know, can you check this on your monitor? You know, so that she will come back to you on the reply and you just basically increment and keep note of the changes that you can make during submission from, from your client so that when she said, oh, I want the 25% uh, version more, so you have it saved and you can resubmit it to your client in comparison to 
different versions that you can be able to submit to your client. So the before and after now, because this is the key file that she was trying to like um, submit me or discuss with me, the file that she has on her WhatsApp photograph. So when she transferred it to WhatsApp, WhatsApp, they compressed it in such a way that the Moray effect intensify on the garment. So when I submit the second file or the first edit that I have done, she accepted it because it looks like this now. You know, it looks like that. So you can still see that the, the compression made it a little bit, you know, um, low risk. Now, now the file is low risk, obviously. Now the file is low risk because it's coming from a decompressed file on WhatsApp. But if you look at my high risk file, this is how it looks. This is the before and this is the after. I have the file that originally what I have submitted to the client. So this is the after. And this is the one that I have submitted her. And then we have went to WhatsApp. This is the initial before that she has from my original image. And this is the submitted image from the file that I have uh, used the Moray removal effect. So you can get the Moray effect action on my WhatsApp, uh, on my uh, WeTransfer page. And if the WeTransfer page uh, link uh, expires, you can download it on my Dropbox page. So there you have it. Thank you very much for having me. I hope this session is very useful for you guys. So keep on shooting and live the photog's life. Cheers.